Welcome back to Wasteland 2. So I ended the last episode with everybody needing to lose a lot of weight. Everybody was really, really overweight. So I just processed almost every single weapon that I don't need, which reduces the weight quite a bit. And then I'm also just dumping a bunch of crap. So a lot of the stuff that I pick up, especially from enemies, like these just random parts, threshing, uh, threshing claw, hydraulic cylinder, and optical eyes and stuff, most of this stuff is extremely heavy and also barely worth anything. I mean, look at this. This this stack of three. Three cylinders is worth 27 scrap. And it weighs 15 pounds. That is not even remotely worth it. So I'm just dropping all this crap. Or most of it anyway. Enough to shed like 20 or 30 pounds. And I think we are good couple bent radars. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's doing pretty well now. Helen is pretty well stocked up on weight, though, even after all of this, because she has all of these damn parts. She has 500.38 ammo. Anyway. I think we're good to go now. Uh, looks like Corn Cane needs to level up. Copy, Echo. Congratulate. Give him a nice heal on the at the same time. Seven points. Uh, bladed weapon, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to spend your points. Who cares? Because I'm going to get rid of you as soon as I get back to Ranger Citadel. Okay, I think we're good. So let's go talk to this guy. Let's see what's up with him. Aid. Huh? Aid? Th that is the word. Hello. I think I have to actually open it to talk to him. Save me. Okay, there we go. That actually means something. No problem. Oh. A few small cracks bisect this old stone wall. Wait, this old stone... What are you, what are you talking about? Is this description even talking about this? This isn't a wall. This is a freaking... It's not even stone. It's metal. It's a gate. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, here we go. A, a, it's a, a siding jail cell door. <laughs> I'm just going to side it to one side. It seems to be a recent addition to the hangar and seems sturdily built. Hmm, Corn Cane finds an oddly shaped keyhole. Uh... An oddly shaped keyhole. Have I gotten an oddly shaped key? Does it matter? Can I just lockpick it? Oh my god. What level lock is that? 27%. That's a level 8. Uh, I do have something that increases my lockpicking skill. But hold on, do I have the key? What would the key be? I mean, I'm assuming Tinker built it. So maybe it's like one of his parts, like... I don't know. His arm? Can I use his arm? No, I can't. I feel like I have a key or something. Wait a minute, Tinker's finger. Quest item. Ooh. A finger from the synth Tinker. The digit sprouts small flanges along the bottom as you turn the bottommost knuckle, making it look kind of like a key. Ah. Success! A tubby young man with a robot arm and some kind of circuitry sticking out of the side of his head. That synthetic humanoid robot put me in here and did things, surgery of the frontal lobe, to me. Made me into a deformed, damaged, broken freak. Thank you for getting me out. Unlocking, dismantling, of that cage. Uh... Is he, like, glitching out? Hmm. 
What kind of things did he do to you? It promised, avowed, swore, pledged me it was going to make me a genius. Ten times smarter than I already was. And that was pretty smart. Why else would I name myself Lexcanium? Or Lexcanium? However you pronounce that. But then I realized, understood, learned. It was going to put some kind of implant in my brain. I tried to say no, negative, decline, disagree. But it just... It just trapped me down on that table and... And now I'm like, rage, anger, pain, horror. This. Yeah, I think it kind of messed him up. Uh, your name is... what? Lexcanium. It means encyclopedia in the 41st millennium. I thought it was a good appellation, designation, alias, name for someone who likes words as much as I do. But now I kind of feel like I should have just stuck with Dan. Well, Dan is easier to pronounce. I don't really want to ask this question, but... Always gotta try. How are you a freak? Are you joking, pulling my leg, kidding me? Look at me. Listen to how I talk. I'm like a goddamn walking lexicon dictionary. On... what the hell? On... What is that word? On a... on a masticon? The source. Jesus Christ, the odds weren't good before, but now I'm never gonna get copulate, intercourse, procreate, laid. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a English major would like your use of words? Maybe? Never say never. Did you learn anything about the robot? I learned that it was vile, malevolent, unhinged, evil. I learned that it liked to torture people. I... Rangers, please. I learned to... Wait, what the... Oh. Rangers, please. I saw what you killed, destroyed, assassinated, did to that thing. Let me join you and I will do the same to every robot we see. I want to slaughter, massacre, maim, kill them and their master before they can damage, ruin, terrorize, hurt anyone else like they hurt me. Didn't you see what that thing did? Cut, altered, scarred for life, to that girl. They have to be destroyed, exterminated, prevented, stopped. I thought he might want to join me. Well, I would love to replace my completely useless comp I mean, lovely chap, Corin Kane. He's feeling a bit tired, and I think he's, uh, he's getting on in years, and he needs to, like, retire, so. Uh. Yeah. Who is this master? Didn't you hear it? It said it worships someone, thing, construct, android, abomination, called Matthias. I don't know what this Matthias is, or where he is, but I will hunt, pursue, stalk, shadow him to the end of the earth. Alright, how can you help? You see this appendage, pseudopod, extremity, arm. It's as strong as any robots. I will tear them apart and my cerebellum, cranium, mind, brain? With this implant, it knows more about robots and synths than any human should. I can reprogram them, turn them against their own kind. Your brain knows more about synths than any human should? You know, I could use a keyboardist for my band. Um. Right. Your arm is extremely strong, so please tell me... Please, please don't tell me that means you're another melee person. Because if it does... I'm going to be very, very sad. Okay, you can come. Uh, he's a word nerd. He calls himself a priest of knowledge, but really he's just a guy who likes words and collects dictionaries. He was lured to his doom by Tinker, who told him she could... Wait, Tinker was a she? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, she told him that she could make him a thousand times smarter. 
Lex was thrilled with the idea until he discovered that it would involve surgically hooking up a data drive to his skull. Though he objected, Tinker gave him the data drive and a robot arm and an atomic heart. He is horrified by what he has what has been done to him and wants vengeance. Um Hmm. Okay. He's not entirely useless in terms of his skills. I mean, computer science, I have that covered. Field medic, I have that covered. But alarm disarming and mechanical repair, no. Vulture's Cry is really bad at mechanical repair. And I don't have anybody to disarm alarms. Although, honestly, it doesn't seem to be very important. But what is your gun? I mean, what's your weapon? Let's, well... Let's get rid of corn cane. Goodbye. Thank you, Rangers. I won't disappoint. Fail. Uh, where does uh, disappoint, fail, screw up, let you down? Okay. Oh, before I forget, let me heal red. Wait, 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 wait. What's this med kit? Is that the really bad one? Yeah, it is a really bad one, which is good, because I want to use a really bad one. Or, wait a minute. Is it? Small medic pack, pocket medic pack. No. The really bad one is the one all the way on the right. That's weird. I thought the worst one would be on the left. Okay, you're good. Now, let me dump Harper's load all over Lexicanium. Please take lots of things. Thank you. All of them, yes. Yes, take the human body parts, even the feet. Did I ever look at the description for this? No, I didn't. <laughs> Crumpled greenback. Wonder who this Franklin guy is. I know, what a loser. Just dump that crap. Alright, good enough. Okay, so, yeah, what is your weapon? <laughs> he is melee. Why is everyone melee? No. Yeah, he's extremely smart, at least. Level 20? Okay. I mean, okay, he's less useless than the other dude. He's less useless than Gorn Kane. He actually does have some complementary skills, in the form of mechanical repair and alarm disarming, although he's not very good at them. He's mediocre, but that's better than Corn Cane, which was completely useless. What's his speed? Eh, speed's okay, four. Although he has armor on. Wait, hold on, did you, uh, you got his extra armor, right? Oh, no, 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 I never had any extra armor. Or whatever arm extra armor I did have went to Angela Death or something? I'm not sure. Because everybody should have a tactical vest, but... I don't think Corrin Kane ever had one, which means when he left and left all his stuff to Harper, Harper didn't gain an extra one. But anyway, since he needs to move, why would I want to lower his combat speed? Let's just take that off. Seems like a terrible idea. Okay, how much damage can he do? Plus two to brawling, okay. You gotta be fucking kidding me. So his bionic arms give him a plus chance for brawling. But he doesn't actually have any base skill in brawling. You, what the fuck? How are you going to be able to hit anything? I mean, it says 70% chance to hit, so that's actually not too bad. Oh, whatever. I hope Corrin Kane makes his way back to the Ranger Citadel, because I haven't actually recruited him yet. It should be fine. Okay. This looks like a map. Yeah, a detailed map of the airplane graveyard beyond DeMonta's walls. Your pay particular attention to a note in red that says, Nuclear Silo here. 
Good to know. I'm assuming that just got marked on my overworld map. Where am I? There's Demonter. I mean, was it just talking about Silo 7? Because I've kind of already been there. Uh, we should tell Bin's parents of her death. Yeah, she did. Her heart did explode. And they're probably going to know how that happened. And I'm probably going to tell them the truth. What's going on here? Thick segmented cables snake from nearby terminals, clustering before connecting to the back of the machine, drawing your attention to an exposed power source unprotected against any assault you could imagine. Hmm? A low hum indicates that this machine is on, but it doesn't appear active. Also doesn't appear active. What? What is this? Is this something I should blow up? Something I can use? I mean, I can't use it directly, but can I, like, computer science? Oh, I can. Whoa, wait a minute. Not you. Yes, let the professional in. The monitor briefly goes blank before displaying, Welcome to... Kotk... Kotkus? In light blue characters. Tinker defensive network blah blah blah, waking subsystems flashes on screen before quickly being scrolled off screen by a flood of unreadable text. Several nearby workstations flicker to life with a hum. Wait, that doesn't mean I could have, like, disabled his shit. Thereby saving her life, does it? I mean, you think he... Assuming that was even slightly possible, you think he would have noticed that we were messing with his shit as we were leaving? I mean, he said, don't test me, so I doubt it, but... Restricted access, disable wireless communication. Wait. You've tried love, sex, secret, and god, but none of those passwords work. This computer system is too advanced to get anywhere by poking randomly at it. You should get a computer scientist to help a uh, scientist to do her thing with it. Oh, fuck, I think I could have disabled the wireless communication. Disable wireless communication. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Wait. A low whine grows higher in pitch until you can no longer hear it, and you get a distinct whiff of burnt plastic and ozone. Do I need to do that to, like, both? I mean, this is kind of too late to really matter, but shit. Bypass another security node. Uh-huh. Total responses, zero. Okay, shit, I think I just disabled the wireless communication system. And it's too late for it to even matter. Well. That's a weird-ass solution, though. I mean, that took me of like... That took me, like, a minute of trying to hack computers and think about it. Tinker was just right there, and said, if you don't, you know, leave immediately. Don't test me. Surely she would have looked over and saw me trying to hack her security system and then killed Bin. So, like, I don't know. If that was a solution, it wouldn't really make any sense. Alright, where have I not been? Because I've been to most places here now. So I still need to find the graveyard, and I don't know where that is. That's, yeah, it's explored. <laughs> Look, the top of the plane's exposed. I guess just down here. I hear nasties. Shit, where the hell am I? Oh, there we go. That's blocked. I gotta go around, right? Yeah, I gotta go all the way around this huge sucker.
I see my nemesis, the cacti, all around here. But there's too many. And my current mission is too grave for me to stop and put them in their grave. Cacti grave. Craves. Wait a minute. Oh. Hello there. Uh, your daughter's dead. I'm sorry. Any news? Yep. Uh, she exploded. What? You're lying. You're a fucking liar. Prove it. Prove you've, ev you've even seen her. Well, that's what the basket's for. What is he- wait, what is he doing? What have you done, Rangers? Why didn't you save her? Oh fuck, get the hell out- just go away. Okay. Okay. I don't want him to start shooting. Ah, the rangers are so good at helping people. Alright, so I think there's a robot beating on a door over here, which means there's probably somebody else to save. Yes. Okay, there could be a turret somewhere around here. Oh, there's a person. Let's see if I can go around the back. I do want to check for a turret, because those can be really annoying. Wait a minute. I could really use a bigger wrench. Uh, where did the new description start? Do, do, do. Oh wait, Silent Springs. Is that, is that what this is? Is this Silent Springs? Is this Silent Springs? Or is this Silent Springs? I don't know. Anyway, staying on top of the barricade and swinging a wrench down at the robots is a tough-looking Native American woman wielding an arc welder. A tin sign over the door reads, Palomar Garage, Repairs and Services, Habla Espanol. Oh, this is the water place, I think. Uh, yeah. Silent Springs. Right, I'm supposed to help them. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Well, I don't see a turret over there. Let's start over here first. I don't know if I'm going to get the attention of the things over there when I go to shoot these dudes. I probably won't. Yes, actually, this is perfect. Stand up here. Perfect for a sniper. begins. Lost control. Good job. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in a while. Um, in fact, I can't even remember if I've ever mentioned it before. I think I have. But certain NPCs have things that trigger them. Like, I think it was the case that Vulture's Cry was triggered by the things from the... Like, the plant. Like, the nature gone awry. The mutated plants and, and stuff like that. And so that means she was more likely to be to lose her control when facing those enemies. 
And I'm assuming this guy's probably more likely to lose his control around robots because the robots experimented on him. So he's probably not too happy about that. Five armor, so yep, I can go ahead and do this. Although, if you're gonna punch him, you might as well. Oh, nah. Oops, I didn't mean to burst. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah. Get him, zombie red. Yeah. Thing can stay alive. I don't care about it. I do care about these, though. One shot, one kill. One shot, one kill? With five armor? Not likely. Uh, we can just save ammo. Yeah, I'll just use, uh, I'll just use Yulia's shotgun to take it out. Or he's gonna impotently run over to it and do nothing. Actually, can I use my shotgun? Uh, yeah. Out of ammo. Oh shit, I think we're running out of assault rifle ammo. And sniper ammo too. Okay, so I'm actually not going to pick up this crap, so this is the stuff that's really heavy and not worth a lot. So unless there's something special in here, which there's not, I'm just going to ignore it. Hello there. That was awesome. Why, thank you. We try to put on a good show. Let's see, Hoppy and... Hoppy, Hopi, whatever. And Maggie fix everything for everybody. Alright, so they, they, they're the town mechanics. And you're a salesman. Nice. I can finally sell my crap. Even when she's not shooting robots with an... I don't remember how to pronounce that. Acetylene? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, torch. This woman, this woman would, this, wait, this woman would look tough. Oh my god. I, I can't believe after so many patches, this game has just a torrential downpour of spelling mistakes. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but, jeez. Alright, this woman would look tough. She's dressed in sleeveless mechanics cover, coveralls and sports a jet black pompadour and tattoos of naked ladies down both wiry arms. Ooh, tattoos of naked ladies. Thanks for saving our asses, amigos. We owe ya, big time. I'm Hopi. Hoppy, I don't know, whatever. And that's my and that's my wife, Maggie, back there at the bench. We ain't accustomed to being damsels in distress, but when Big Betty broke down, we had to fall back to a pipe wrench. And I'll be honest, it just wasn't cutting it. Well, I mean, pipe wrenches aren't for cutting, so that's not too surprising. ba -dum -tsh. So is that Big Betty over there? Who's Big Betty? Our machine gun. She was running just fine when this robot riot got started, but she jammed and her trigger mechanism went bluey. <laughs> bluey. Maggie's trying to kit bash a fix, but we really need parts. Say, you folks wouldn't happen to have a spare gun we could strip. Anything with a trigger. Maggie can jigger the bits to fit. Uh, I broke down most of my weapons, actually, but, uh, maybe? Also, hold- Red? What are you doing, Red? Look at him. 
I was like, it sounds like somebody's constantly running. And I just realized Red is just running into the new guy. W what are you doing? Hold, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay. Um... Let me trade my shit. Ammo. Ooh. Yes, 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 please. Bit of... A uh, bit of scrap and a lot of ammo. Alright, I have a lot of junk. To put it mildly. Although some of the stuff I want to keep. For sentimental reasons. So what do I want to keep? Let's keep one catnip. Let's keep a condom. Greenback. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of my candy, because I feel like I'm never going to see Night Terror again. I think he fell asleep forever. Let's keep the lipstick, of course. Model M keyboard. A couple copies of Necronomicon. Pet Rock. Of course I'm going to keep my dildos. I mean, jeez, you crazy? I don't want to sell Tinker's body parts. I mean, they're listed as junk, but I feel like they could have some sort of scientific value. Not gonna sell the warranty sticker. Alright, I think that's it. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff I could sell as well. Like, I definitely don't need two full chokes. I'm sure a lot of these parts I could sell, but I might need them for my weapons. Um, well, I could sell the sturdy mags, because I would just use a high capacity mag instead of that. Weapon parts I should save for the guy back at the Citadel. Sell one of the chokes. I guess I'll just sell all the clothes. I think I've tried most, if not all, of them on. I'm not going to spend too much time managing this. I just want to get that right about there, and then let's buy some ammo. In fact, let's just buy it all. There we go. Awesome. I should probably distribute the ammo. There's only two people that actually use assault rifles now, aren't there? Yeah. Okay. What's with that rusty robot? We call him Jamie. Tell me about Jamie. He's my wedding gift to Maggie. She always wanted a robot, so I dragged him out of the graveyard and brought him home. Still can't get him running, though. Some problem with his brain, we think. Ooh, I can help with that. His brain? Maggie knows mechanics. I know metalwork. Neither of us knows computers. So we're kind of shit out of luck. Tell you what. You get him running, you can keep him. After all the robot attacks, we're not so hot on him anymore. Kinda afraid he's gonna wake up and kill us in our sleep. Yeah, fair enough. Your name is... Hopi? Hoppy? C can you please tell me how to pronounce your name? Well, it ain't my real name, but that's what folks call me. 100% full-blooded... Ho Hopi Indian? Hoppy? I don't know. I'm gonna say Hopi. Because it has hope in the name. And that sounds nice. Uh, let's see where this goes. Pretty sure I already know when it began. A couple of days ago. Mm hmm. Airplane graveyard. Yep. What's the airplane graveyard? Kind of already know. Local beauty spot. Abandoned airport. Okay. Where did you get that hot rod? Wait, hot rod? What hot rod? I just see rusty hunks of metal. I have no idea what Hot Rod he's talking about. I guess I'll ask about it anyway. Now that was Maggie's wedding gift to me. I always wanted a Hot Rod, and now I've got one. Of course, we're having some trouble fixing that too. Engine's completely rusted out. 
We were going to go into the graveyard and see if we could find a replacement. But that's kind of out of the question now. Well, how how's about I solve all y'all's problems? I, I'll re your little robot there, fix your guns, and get you a new engine. Tell me about Maggie. Her real name's Bernice Maggie. But I call her Maggie, because, well, who the hell would want to be called Bernice? Around the garage, she's in charge of engine repair, electronics, etc. I take care of paint, bodywork, and upholstery. This is another one of those questions that I don't really want to ask, because it's kind of pointless, but it may reveal an interesting pathway, so... Maggie's your wife? I already know what the answer is going to be. Yep. Her and me went to the Temple of Titan and asked those crazy priests to marry us. I figured the best place to get hitched to a bombshell like Mag's was in a place where they worship an atomic bomb. Well, that actually wasn't the response I was expecting. I was expecting the typical, like, yeah, what, marrying a woman, you know, is that so odd, blah 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 kind of thing. But I don't really care. But actually, there's none of that. That's actually quite nice. I guess, you know what, maybe after there's an apocalypse, people would stop, like, giving a shit and getting their uh, underwear all in a twist about gay marriage or something. Maybe that would fall by the wayside and people would realize, you know what, we're dying of radiation. That's not really, you know, I, maybe I should stop being a bigot because that's not really very important. That's actually quite nice, now that I think about it. Anyway, um, didn't you want a weapon? I thought she wanted a weapon. Do I have to just, like, literally sell her a weapon? I mean, that doesn't seem to be related to a quest. Uh... <clears throat> like, this isn't how you'd complete a quest, just by trading a weapon, right? I don't think I have a spare one. I mean, I have this, which I don't want to sell. I have this, which I also don't want to sell. And this, which I also do not want to sell. So, yeah. Sorry. Alright, let's go fix this thing. There we go. Got them up and running. A little heads up. What do you think I was doing over here? And he's mine. Oh, look at him. Fast little bugger too. Can I overclock him? Yes. I don't think I can do it again. Maximum power. Nope. I can't even tell how many hit points he has. I have no idea. Huh. Alright, so yeah, what hot rod are you talking about? <laughs> Where's the wedding gift hot rod? I mean, is it this rust bucket or this rust bucket? I mean, <laughs> none of these look like gifts. I guess it's this. I mean, this one actually has, like, wheels, even though it doesn't have tires. Could use uh, a paint job. To put it mildly. Anyway, let's go talk to Maggie. A lush redhead with green eyes, freckles, and grease smudges all over her hands and face. She's got the body of a pinup and the dress sense of a plumber. Her hair is tied back in a blue bandana. Oh, hey. Thanks for helping Hopi take out these, those robots. If he hadn't have shown up, we would have been reduced to throwing wrenches at him. If you need any repairs, you got it. No charge. We owe you for the rescue. Don't think I even need to ask any of these questions, but just in case, her, her, uh, Big Betty. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, so she's asking for the weapon as well. Can you use this to repair Big Betty? What, what is this? Excellent. D uh, did I just give her something? Oh. Okay, so yeah, I do actually need a weapon. Oh, this is the same dialogue box that I had for giving the candy to Night Terror. So this is like the quest trade thing? Yeah. Um... You know, whatever, I'll just give her the rocket launcher. Great, great. One second. There we go. All yours. Go on and introduce her to those damn robots. Wait, you just... gave her to us? I don't think we can use it. Isn't that a heavy weapon? Uh, tell me about Hopi. She's my... Wait, she's my... husband? Huh? What you mean, wife? Well, whatever. Um, hard on the outside, soft and sweet on the inside. Kind of the opposite of me. I already know about the robots, okay. I mean, it's not... It's not like it's impossible that she identifies as male, so maybe she could be her husband. It's just... It's hard to tell what's meant as, like, an in-game... What's meant to be the story in game and what is just a spelling mistake and and a grammar mistake because there's so many of those. Big Betty. Does a six shot burst? Damn. Yeah, it's a heavy weapon though. No, well, I'll keep it in. Oil it every once in a while to keep it working, but I don't intend to use it. Unfortunately, I'd love to. But I can't. Alright, I think we're good here. Suppose I can pick up the stuff and sell it to her, since she is just right there, but I don't care that much. Strathcona Hot Rod Shop. There's a bunch of blood on the sign. Okay, well I think I should probably end this episode here before it becomes over an hour long like the last one. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.